I'm aware that I'm not a ranting channel, but some things get on my nerves, and talking about them makes me feel better. So I've made two other videos on things I dislike, and I set them up this way because they're kind of random and don't always correlate to my other videos, so trying to work them in can be tricky. Regardless, let's find out what other things makes Barry angry. The first one is game launchers. Now, sometimes these are set up well. Actually, that's a lie. There's literally only one example of a game launcher that's actually good, and this is the Halo Online El Dorito port. The Halo 3 Online port has a game launcher, and there are three reasons as to why it's good. One, you can use it to customize your name, character, and settings in real time in the game. Two, it's very easy to use and navigate. And three, it's not necessary. You can launch the game without the stupid launcher. Now, why do I hate launchers so much? Well, unless I have the most powerful graphics card in the world, I will most likely want to adjust my settings while in the game. However, games with launchers will force me to close the game, change the settings, hope the game works better that way, and try again. This is the worst when you're just starting the game and there isn't an automatic checkpoint or save feature, and every time you open the game, you have to go through the exact same cutscene every single time until it looks and runs the way it's supposed to. Well, Barry, you may say, you could just use NVIDIA GeForce Experience to calibrate the game for you. Well, firstly, I have a 4K monitor. NVIDIA will set the game to 4K low to get 60 FPS. I don't want to run the game at 4K. I might want to record it for footage, and I can't record at 4K. The rendering time is atrocious. I want 2560 by 1440 at max, or ultra, or some variant of that. So scrap that idea. Okay, Barry, why don't you just let the game set its settings and just play at those? Because I'm a PC gamer. I'm not going to let someone dictate how I play my games. I have the ability to tweak and manage until I find my sweet spot. And some games auto configuration section can be just as bad as NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you're going to do a launcher, this is how you should do it. There are three ways to solve the problem. One, when the game starts, have it ask me what resolution I want to set the game to and then let the calibrations begin. This would help. It would be a little more work, but not as much as a full settings menu. That can still be in the launcher. Two, ensure the launcher can adjust settings in real time. So if I need to adjust something, I can alt escape and tweak it. Closing the program and reopening the program is not an inviting experience, especially when I have to see your company's logo every two minutes. And guess what name is burning into my head when I become annoyed at the developer who thought this was a good idea. Or three, don't use a game launcher, period. Also, on this topic, for those games that force me to restart every single time I change one setting, you're the worst. Game devs, be ashamed. The second thing I dislike are holidays. Whoa, Barry, what the hell? Why in the world do you dislike holidays? Holidays are to me, and this is just me, an illogical, obligational tradition and they annoy me. What I mean by this is I find it really petty that on a certain day I have to love my mother more than the rest, or on that day I just show her that I care. Realistically, if I love my mother, I can't pretend to love her more on one day. And how stupid that I show her on a day where everyone else shows theirs as well. It's literally an obligation, and that's what it feels like. If someone got me a gift for Christmas or my birthday, I don't think they love me. I don't think they care. I wonder who is doing this because they felt like they had to. If you want to show me that you care, give me a gift for no reason. Pick a day where nothing's going on and give me a gift. That will show me that it wasn't an obligation at all. You legitimately care because you picked a day that meant nothing. Out of your own kindness and true love, you got me a just because gift. This has happened and it means far more to me than any birthday or Christmas gift. And I find it embarrassing that we still feel as though we need dated yearly reminders to do a kind thing. This makes us crappy individuals, doesn't it? This is why I never buy people gifts unless I feel I want to. I would feel like a tool otherwise. But you may say, what about Halloween or Christmas or Easter? These holidays bring us together for fun, a night of walking the town for candy, or being with your family, or celebrating the birth of Jesus, or celebrating the death of Jesus. And look, like I said above, if you truly need a day set to tell you to hang out with your family, 
you're a bad person. If you love your family, then you would take the time to see them regardless. And I love this response. It's always, well, I go across the state or country or even globe on Christmas to visit my family. It gives us all a reason to go. For us, it's not an obligational thing. We just do it on that day because it makes things easier. You literally just used a non-argument here. So you're basically telling me that without Christmas you wouldn't do it? Because what I heard was if Christmas doesn't exist, we would have no reason to go. Obligation. I actually might do a video dedicated to this because there's a lot to say about holidays and I won't be able to go into all of it right now. But I want to say that if you love holidays and celebrating them, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. It just makes me feel like a scumbag. And the last thing that I dislike, and I positively hate this one, auto-tune. The problem with today's music is auto-tune gives anybody the ability to sing. There used to be a time where music was an art, a passion, and something that came straight from the heart. Listen to Survivor, Queen, Marty Robbins, Journey. Listen to the song Highwayman by The Highwayman, Runaway by The Killers, Silent Running by Mike and the Mechanics, and Making Love Out of Nothing at All by Air Supply. Now, not all of these bands were auto-tuneless, but most of them used it to touch up mistakes. Auto-tune was supposed to be used to do so instead of the band having to go back and re-sing the entire song. And this is how it was done. Long ago, when music was actually good, nobody used auto-tune through the entire song. And it should be an embarrassment in doing so, but it's praised. What in the world is the point of going to live concerts anymore? Auto-tune can't be done in real time, and most of the artists of today, and I use that word artists lightly, sound like crap without their auto-tune. The most ironic part is indie singers who actually have talent normally just stick around on YouTube, and this happens for two different reasons. One, nobody wants them because they aren't wealthy enough, or something equally as shallow, or the singer disagrees to it because even though they can sing, the studio still wants to use auto-tune. Auto-tune sounds like crap. It makes the song feel cheap, and it makes you seem like you have no talent. Auto-tune is the equivalent of those children YouTube Let's Players. Their following is massive, they make tons of money, but their content is crap. This is anyone who uses auto-tune, and I have two other things to say regarding this. One, I hate when someone who can actually sing still uses it. I have heard artists live that have amazing voices and yet still use auto-tune. It's stupid, but the second thing I'd like to say... <sighs> is not all of it sounds bad. There are a few songs that sound all right, and even though the artist can't sing and still needs the autotune, the music is good, the words are good, and the song sounds pretty all right. But all right is not what you should be striving for in the music industry, you lazy, talentless f And that's my list. Sorry I went off there on a few of my points. Some of these things just really annoy me, and I just need to let it out every so often. If you guys like game launchers, Holidays or auto-tune, that's fine. We're all different, and that's what's so cool about us. It ensures that we're all unique, and I respect your likes and dislikes all the same. I swear to God, though, if you like crappy auto-tune music, 